So, what's the best way to wrap up your kite when you're done with your session? Now, a lot of people have a lot of different ways to wrap their kites up, and I'm just gonna show you the way that I find the best and why I think that works for me. Now, the way that most people go about this is normally they would lay their kite out flat like it is right now, and they'd roll both ends into the middle. Now, something you always gotta remember is you always wanna throw your bridles in so they don't hang out the front of the kite. They roll up with it, and that way that it can't get snagged or on anything, and it's nice and tucked away. That would be the conventional way of rolling up a kite. I don't particularly do that. So what I like to do is I actually come across and I grab the other wing tip, and what I do is I fold the kite in half. And there's a good reason for this. When you fold your kite in half, the outside of the kite, this side of the material, and the inside of the kite, the side that has the struts and the one pump connectors and all of the stitching, don't touch. The inside touches the inside and the outside touches the outside. So if you're rolling it up on a sandy beach, the sand will never actually get into the inside of your kite. Now another benefit, obviously, is that you've only got to wrap your kite up once. You don't have to fold both sides in. The air will still push out because you're still rolling to the valve, which is in the middle. At the end, you've just got one nice tube that then you can fold into thirds and fit really nicely in your bag. Now the only time that that might become an issue is if it's super windy, it can be really hard to fold it in half. So if that's the case, I'd just try and find somewhere grassy, somewhere not on the sand, where I could roll it up like normal. Hope this helps, shortens your pack up time and keeps your kites in better nick for longer.